Welcome back everyone and thanks for joining me again on the French Cooking Academy. Today we are learning how to braise, not meat, but cabbages. Beautiful product, it's winter, it's tasty. So cabbage can be great if you make it nice and tasty. And it can also be very boring if it's not tasty. So today we're going to learn how to make a beautiful braised cabbage uh, using some homemade stock and of course I've got some smoked pork belly and lard here. So it's beautiful fatty bits that we're going to use to infuse the whole cabbage with this beautiful smoky flavor and make a delicious dish. And now for the mise en place. As always the ingredients will be listed in the video description. You're going to need uh, two cups of homemade stock. So I've made my short stocks here already. I'm going to use a cast iron pot, a mirepoix of carrot, mirepoix of onion. I've uh, cut my bacon or pork belly into chunks and I've blanched my cabbage leaves. Very important. One thing you're going to have to do as well before you assemble uh, your dish, before we braise the cabbage, you have to remove that stalk here, that hard bit in the, in the middle. So to show you how it looks like, I've kind of done it with a knife. You go around and you're going to detach this bit here. Okay. And what you end up with is just the leaves and this is what you eat. Okay, you eat the good stuff and you don't want this thing. Uh, you don't want to leave this. A lot of people leave this as way too hard. Huh? So it's always just make sure you blanch and then you cut the leaves. Once you got all this, make sure your uh, oven is preheated at 180 degrees Celsius, which is 356 Fahrenheit. And then we're going to start the preparation. And now let's start with the garnish. Uh, so I've got a pan, medium heat, a bit of butter, and we're going to start to gently sweat the carrots and onion plus the bacon. All right, so we are counting about five minutes on a medium heat and there's no real browning going on on here. When we, when we sweat vegetables and uh, there's no coloring, it's just to render some of the fat, uh, take the flavors out of the vegetables, start to kickstart these flavors and that's it. We're not automatically browning it's not because we have pork belly that it has to be like a piece of bacon that's fried you know sometimes pork belly can be also like that so we're going to use this as an aromatic base and for the braising so when you've got five minutes cooking time you turn your heat off we're done when i'm ready to assemble our dish and so i'm using a cast iron pan at the bottom here we've put some uh, quan and some pig skins and that have been blanched as well and it's just an assembly game so from here we're going to put all the uh, the braising mix at the bottom. The bacon is optional. I'm putting some in, but you don't really have to do it. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a layer of that. Follow on with a piece of thyme, some bay leaves, and that's gonna be really my flavoring and everything is gonna steam up through the cabbage and, and infuse these nice flavors. And finally, what you're left with is the cabbage leaves. So the cabbage, I'm taking the tough one first and you're just gonna you know, you put them the way you want, uh, basically. Uh, you're just gonna, you have to press them down. You can put some, okay, some young ones, some hard ones. So I'm just making a, a layer like this. And every time you do it, you're gonna have to press down like that to make sure you get a nice compressed cabbage cake. Can you see? Halfway through, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper, but not too much because the bacon is quite salty. No, a grind of black pepper. And then again, I'm going to continue. So you got the idea. Basically, we're going to lay all the cabbage and make that big layer of cabbage in the pan. I'm all done. I'm going to add again a little bit of salt and pepper. And we're going to cover with our stock. Beautiful. So usually it's about two cups of homemade stock. And let me <laughs> start by saying that really you need a homemade stock. It really makes all the difference. So I'm going to let it drip in a bit and then add the rest. Okay, so the rest of the stock. Once you're done with your cabbage leaves and they're all here, you're going to take your pot, put it back on the stove here and we're going to bring the stock that's in here to the boil to kickstart the cooking of the cabbage leaves before we put the pot in the oven. So you put your heat on medium high and you wait until it boils. So as you can see here, I think if you can hear it, but see, it's boiling. So heat off. We're almost ready to put this in the oven. Last step, a bit of fat back on top. The last step consists of adding a layer of fat back, as you can see, to protect the cabbage from drying. 
Okay, so that's gonna be one and a half hour cooking time in the oven, 180 degrees Celsius. I usually turn the fan off in the oven. That makes for a more gentle type of cooking. I think fan force, it kind of really force the heat inside the pan. I don't really like that. So lid on, one and a half hour cooking, and we'll see the result. And here it is, one and a half hour later. I'm gonna open this so I don't burn myself. Okay, and there we have it. Oh, it's nice and rustic. So as you can see, the fat back, as I've protected the layers of cabbage, I'm gonna take it out. Now, let's have a look at our cabbage. So first off, look at these juices that you've got. Look at this beautiful juice. Okay, so I have adjusted the camera here and I want to try to show you the, the layers that we have so you see there's the cabbage with all the broth in there carrots bacon and all its goodness waiting to be eaten so you see all what needs to be done now is to plate this up now when it comes to cabbage simple is the key so what i've done i've rolled up the leaves in a little roll like this individual portion all the, the bacon, and I think, you know, this is really, the braise is well served with a little bit of sauce. So you want to have a nice soup-like kind of juice. Huh? So you don't want it dry at all. You want something nice and juicy. The only thing left to do, of course, is dig in. And so how do you eat the, uh, the cabbage? Well, they're just leaves, basically. You can serve it with a piece of meat, but look how tender that is. Let's see how well cooked. And that's what you get inside, a beautiful, perfectly cooked cabbage enriched with this beautiful piece of bacon. Mmm, that's really nice. I mean, if you like cabbage, I mean, look at this. Look at the roll in there. That's a beautiful leaf. And you got a mix of green leaves, young leaves, and with that broth, it's excellent. Last thing I would do, you know what, in France, take a nice piece of bread like this and you're going to dip your bread in the sauce, like a little soup and yum. But guys, that's it. This is my version of the braised cabbage and in a way you can serve it by rolling the leaves and this mix of green and young leaf plus the bacon and that little braising juices. It's absolutely excellent. And that completes the, the video tutorial of the day. I hope you enjoy it. As always, if you have any comments, you can post them either in the video description or you can contact me uh, you know, via Instagram, hashtag French Cook Academy, Facebook. You can become a patron on my Patreon page. And don't forget, we've got our new school, French Cooking Academy online. All the details in the video description. I wish you all the best and I'll see you all next time for my next video. Take care all. Bye-bye.